guy, for what it's worth, he lives this. this. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Noel. Um, so Air Jordans are the best basketball shoes out there on the market. I firmly believe this because I have a lot of experience in playing in and both wearing casually Air Jordans. As you can see from my photo, um, this is a picture of me buried in part of my collection. <laughs> uh, this is a picture I took about two years ago when I was building apartments just to highlight the amount of shoes I have, and this is about half. But so I've been a collector since 2003, and since then I've become very familiar with how Jordans function and how they you know, just feel on my feet. So Jordans are the best basketball shoes on the market. For one, on a functional level, they are the best performing shoes out there due to their innovative features and performance enhancing features. Secondly, uh, they transcend the basketball court despite that performance. They've now embedded themselves in everyday streetwear culture. Um, and certainly there are other brands out there, such as Adidas and Under Armour, that produce basketball shoes, and I've dabbled in both of these brands, but at the end of the day, those brands don't marry fashion and function like Air Jordans do. Uh, so, to go into greater detail of what I'm talking about, I brought two pairs of shoes in today to highlight um, both fa uh, function and fashion. First, to discuss function, we have the Air Jordan 11. And so, just to provide further context about basketball in general. So basketball is a sport that puts a lot of strain on your feet. Uh, due to all the unique movements and sharp cuts on the court, that strain can ultimately lead, lead to injury. So when you play, you want to use a shoe that's both comfortable and, and that prevents injury. And the Air Jordan 11 does this masterfully. So, I wanted to highlight three main features that make this a high-performing shoe. First, this, this nylon upper was taken from mountaineering backpacks that makes the shoe very durable and lightweight. So a lightweight shoe is important for less load on your muscles when you're running and jumping, whether for jump shots or rebounds. Uh, secondly, underneath the sole, you'd be able to see it if this were a clearer sole and it was, it was not such an old shoe, but <laughs> there's a carbon fiber plate here, and the carbon fiber plate adds to stability for the shoe, and that leads to efficiency uh, of movement on the basketball court. Finally, uh, you see this black shiny, shiny material around the whole perimeter of the shoe, that's patent leather. And patent leather is, one, lightweight, so it adds to the lightweight dimension of the shoe. But more importantly, it tends not to stretch. And so when players are making sharp cuts on the court, you know, again, efficiency of movement is in place. When, when, the, when the player's shoe, uh, foot moves, the shoe moves with it, but the foot is kept within the bounds of the shoe bed. But so aside from being very functional, you can see that this patent leather makes the shoe pop a little bit, right? But so instead of diving into this further regarding fashion, I'd like to discuss the shoes on my feet, which are my favorite Air Jordans of all time, the Air Jordan 3. <laughs> yeah, you laugh. It's good that I'm standing back here so you won't smell any of this <laughs> action going on. But so, uh, uh, just like with any Air Jordan, uh, several releases come out with each model, uh, and the Air Jordan 3 is no exception. Uh, they come out in several colorways, and this is my favorite colorway, uh, the true blue colorway. As you can see, there's blue around the midsole, uh, blue that lines the, the ankle collar as well as the tongue, and blue on the lace locks on the sides. Uh, with a little splash of red and um, a majority white upper, it makes it for a patriotic looking shoe, but still very clean and simple. Furthermore, uh, the shoe is made of um, this uh, luxurious uh, tumbled leather, making it for a more luxurious look. But to balance that out um, is a feature that a lot of sneakerheads like myself like, and that's this um, <coughs> elephant print um, this, this, that, that you can find around the toe box, the heel area, as well as surrounding the lace lock. So it gives the, the shoe a little grittier street sort of look. And then finally, uh, the Air Jordan 3 was the first <coughs> model that highlighted the Air Jordan logo, the pervasive Air Jordan logo that symbols the Jordan brand. And it was the first shoe to, to show a visible air bubble unit that highlights the technolo technological functions of the shoe. So due to all these things, the Air Jordan 3 is definitely one of the greatest sneakers of all time in a lot of sneakerheads' opinions, such as myself. Um, but don't take my word for it. <coughs> Here you have... Uh, Pharrell Williams and Kanye West, uh, two hip-hop artists, arguably on the cutting edge of fashion, uh, rocking their Air Jordans very casually and fashionably, one in concert and one walking down the street. Um, you even have Amber Rose, Kanye's girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. Um, ex-girlfriend, thank you. <laughs> we're, we're, we're some Jordan 3s. Um, so that points to the fact that these are not only available and fashionable uh, for men, but also for women. So. As you can see, I'm very passionate about Air Jordans, but they are a great product overall. Uh, on a functional level, they are the high, highest performing basketball shoes out on the market due to their innovative features and performance enhancing features. And on a fashion level, uh, they've transcended the core and are embedded in everyday streetwear culture. So to uh, congratulate yourselves after finishing this tough quarter or even for our early holiday gift, 
I encourage all of you to go out and buy a pair to see exactly what I'm talking about. And you have 23 classic models to choose from. So there's a lot of selection and variety out there. And of course, for all you non-basketball players out there, don't fret. I can assure you that you'll be very happy with the comfort and the fashion that exudes from your feet when you're walking down the street and that's the casual. Quick debrief on that one. What went well? Number one, purpose. Explicitly clear. I don't think anyone is left in doubt whatsoever what the purpose of this presentation was. The preview was really clear. The props were really nice. Uh, we now know that that's Kanye West's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> you, you hit a little card there. Um, the elephant print, we had some inside information, the what's new, the belief. Uh, all of it really, really, really strong, right? Uh, natural speaking, no notes, very conversational. A lot of good stuff in that presentation. So, good job. Congratulations.